Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. Quick video today. We're gonna put a hat on my X Max. This is the 7817G uh, skid plate in green that goes on the very top of the X Max just to protect some of the roof. You can see already here and here on the corners, I've already scuffed it up quite a bit. And before I actually wear through the entire roof, even though I've shoe glued the body and mesh tape all the inside, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But even though I've done that, I wanna make sure that I don't wear through the rest of this roof. These bodies are, especially in Canada, pretty expensive, 150 or more dollars. So to protect this body a little bit more, I'm gonna add this roof skid plate to it. So let's get started. Okay, so we just need the body for this. I've moved the truck to the side. Let's open this up and take a look at what's included. So pretty simple, just a plastic with uh, four screw holes here that kind of mounts on the top of this. I think something like that, once you've punched through the holes there to uh to screw it into the body and comes with the screws and some really basic installation instructions here uh, so pretty simple make four holes screw it in uh, they recommend a tapered reamer but i'm just going to use a drill to do this so these do require the internal body support here so the newer x maxes will have this but you can buy that separately all i'm going to do is drill through the holes here is a kind of a pilot and then it needs an eight millimeter hole. So I actually have a metric set of drill bits. I'm going to drill an eight millimeter hole from the outside back in after I've drilled those pilot holes. So it'll make it pretty quick. The instructions say to remove the body support when you're doing this. So I'm going to try and do it without it. So there we go. We have four pilot holes through the roof now and I'll just enlarge those with the other drill bit now. All right, as you just saw there, I tried to drill from the top, but given the, the little support here in the body, I'm not gonna be able to drill that and keep it on center. So I will actually take the body support and drill from the inside out. All right, and there we go. We have the four holes in the roof now. Um, these will be covered up, so it doesn't matter if they're a little jagged. Some of the shoe glue and mesh tape makes this a little messier than it might have been with just the body. But then all we have to do is snap in the roof skid plate here and then screw it in and screw in the body support again. So we'll just get this pushed through. Fits through the holes pretty easily there. Uh, a little tighter in the back, but we'll get those to sit in. That's it sitting on the top. It's not screwed in yet, but you can see it fits the body lines quite well. And then on the other side, you can see where the four holes actually come through the body. So we can then add the body support back in. Again, being careful, and I'm using the lowest setting on this uh, screwdriver here to make sure that I don't strip anything out. So that's the body support back in now, and we'll put that back over. And we can screw in the four new screws here. Okay, and there we go. The skid plate or the roof skid plate's installed now. Uh, nice fit, it's not too high or sticks out weird. I did get the green to match the rest of the truck, although the colors of the green are slightly off, don't know why. Um, but yeah, otherwise pretty easy installation, only takes probably five or 10 minutes and uh, should be a good upgrade to help protect the top of the truck and the body so that it doesn't break. And then back on the truck itself, looks good. So that's everything for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider it. And as always, thanks for watching.